Thanks for tuning in to Weha Mag. Happy fall or happy autumn. My name is Tom Hickey from West Hartford Magazine, Weha.com, and Weha Events. I'm joined uh, by a great group of people who make things happen around West Hartford every single month, and we take time. Again, thanks for joining us. In 30 minutes, we'll fill you in on all the events, activities, and news and information that you care about uh, in Weha. Uh, I co-produce uh, with Barbara Lerner from the West Hartford Chamber of Commerce, so we'll start with Barbara, and we'll go around uh, the group and introduce ourselves. All right, Barbara Lerner, West Hartford Chamber of Commerce. I'm John Pinderis, uh, co-president of the Park Road Association and owner of Effie's Place Restaurant. Elizabeth Zigmont, marketing director of Blueback Square. Hi everybody, I'm Karen Fillion and I am the property manager for Bishop's Corner, Bishop's Corner West and Crossroads Plaza and uh, a member of the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association. Great. And Karen, uh, could you just define that area for people to visualize, like Marshalls? Uh, you know, the, uh, so Marshalls uh, and Coma, uh, and uh, also over at Big Y. Big Y, great. Yeah. And hi, I'm Ronnie Newton. <laughs> over here on, on Tom's other side. I guess he skipped me the we first time. Yeah. So I'm actually not sitting in, the, in my usual space That's today. Not, but, it but mix things up yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's always That's fun it. to mix things around. Um, I'm the editor of WeHad.com. Great. Well, thank you, everyone, as always, uh, for coming. In no particular order, uh, we're just going to jump around uh, and, and start chatting about things happening in West Hartford. And we already said that um, since Johnny is appropriately colored in, <laughs> uh, in, in fall, uh, that we'll start with him. So let, tell us about Park Road. Well, thank you. There, <laughs> actually, we have a lot going on in Park Road right now. Um, there is a uh, large construction project that's going to be starting uh, at the end of October at the Park Road exit. And uh, oh, yeah. that's, that's going to be going on for the next couple of years. It'll be affecting traffic and uh, traffic patterns, but um, I, it's needed. And uh, I think in the, in, in the end, after a couple of years, it's going to be great. So um, I didn't realize I, already, I didn't realize a couple of years. So Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's scheduled to 19, yeah. right, and it's starting it fall totally of 17. Complete. So a little over two years if it stays on schedule. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but always the, open, so just in phases. Yes, yeah, so right. they're going to have, it's, it'll always be open. It'll be down to one lane, I believe. And I don't have a lot of the specifics. I actually, um, unfortunately, missed a meeting the other day. They, they, the folks were at the Park Road um, meeting and, and talked about it, but I've been trying to read up a little bit on it to kind of keep informed. I use that intersection to come, come to work and go home every day. So. I, can, I can actually <laughs> share this from, the, um, oh, do from it, what the, the town engineer said. So what they're going to be doing is they're moving the off-ramp, the, the Park Road off-ramp, 200 feet to the west, right. so it'll be adjacent to the on-ramp, and they're also um, adding an extra left turn lane, so when you're getting off the highway, that crossover is still going to be there, but you'll have more time, the sight lines will be better, and there, there will be two opportun opportunities to turn left and head west on Park Road. And, and then they're going to take the signals, and uh, the town will be operating the signals right. too. Right, and the was three the signals ones. will be coordinated, which is you know part of the problem there now. They're going to build an eight-foot-wide sidewalk on both sides, so hmm. that can accommodate pedestrians as well as you know bicyclists. It's not a bike lane, but it, it's at least a wide sidewalk that that bicyclists will be able to use. So it's going to make it a lot safer, and um, hopefully, th they're hoping that because the signal will be shorter at the end of Actually, in all of the places, it'll it'll um, curb the practice of running red lights because people won't have to wait three minutes if you, yeah. you know, happen to miss that light. It's and challenging and, in the afternoon. Know, I drive that way. <laughs> <laughs> and they're hoping to keep traffic from backing up, yeah. and which yeah. has been an issue for years. So, so and, yeah. and the initial phase actually won't impact the, the traffic patterns that much. They're going to work on um, clearing the, the yeah, trees that trees, are in the right. median right now and um, getting ready to build the new off-ramp. And then... Once they actually start doing work on Park Road, they're adding a couple of extra left turn lanes. That's when really driving east-west on Park Road is going to be a little a little right. dicey for. So they must be a doing while. a lot then on this. What would it be? The south side. The south side. Because the south there's side homes on the other side, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Homes. The bridge is the over, bridge there, is over yeah. there too. Well, there's going to be a new gateway. Welcome to West Hartford too. A new a new sign mm -hmm. and some greenery there, and it's oh. going to be kind of park-like. You know, nice nice welcome when you get yeah. off, but. For the next two years, you might. It's not going to be so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. You should use other exits. Yeah, they, they are suggesting that you yeah. for a while right. that everybody use other exits so you don't have that frustration level. Mm. So, sorry to. But no, it's a big project. project. No, so, it is a big project, big project. Now, we also, at the time of this taping, we um, are, are getting ready for our Park Road Parade, our annual 19th annual Park Road Parade, uh, October 7th, and that's very exciting and always a lot of work. Uh, you just announced your marshals, right? 
Right, Heidi Voigt from uh, NBC yeah. is, is our Grand Marshal, and uh, she's been great, and she's going to be doing some, uh, some Facebook Live, yeah. and, and uh, we have a couple of events coming up. Uh, Pre-Park Road, it's gonna, we have a toast to Park Road on, I believe that's the third, which is the Thursday before the, the, the parade, and that's at Park and Oak, and they're donating a portion to the parade. Um, we have uh, the Park Road Association, just to jump around a little bit, we, we made a, we formed a beautification committee. It's a couple of concerned neighbors uh, were concerned about the trash pile up on the street, and they wanted to clean up the, the neighborhood, so they started, they started walking with trash bags. And we had an organized mm -hmm. event uh, back in September, and we had some, uh, some dignitaries from town and some business owners and some volunteers and, and some neighbors. Uh, we did you know, several blocks around Park Road, and everybody walked with trash bags. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we, we did some cleaning up, and it was, it was great. And everybody was very into it. We we're going to do some planters. We're looking at um, working with Knox again uh, next spring. Mm -hmm. Uh, and having maybe some sponsorship for some of these planters and this beautification committee is looking mm -hmm. at maintaining and doing some other areas as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's going really well with them. Now if was that whole beautification thing, was that any, did that have anything to do with near Park and Oak, but on Park Road where they took down a bunch of trees and that like didn't, a, like a no, that didn't have anything, but that was one of the, that was one of the reasons why this committee started because that was one of the, the sore spots oh, okay. uh, you know that that, <laughs> okay. that some of the people didn't like looking at all the time and it actually it worked itself out and, and it looks it, really it looks, nice now. it looks great yeah. right yeah. um so so if anyone's interested in more information they can uh, go to our website the park road ct website and uh there's a there's a tab on there for the beautification committee and uh more and did businesses start meeting. that or was it it neighbors? was actually a couple of the neighbors um nice. from from up the street towards uh towards the wing place, and I can't, can't remember yeah. the name of the road offhand, but mm -hmm. they live there, and they just, they, they've been mm -hmm. involved with us for the last uh, several months, and uh, wanted to get this going, so. That's great. Yeah. So she, could, she was terrific. She spoke at the meeting last week. Oh, the Deanna did, And right. she said they had t-shirts made so people know who they are they as they're walking around, too. Yeah. right, oh, with their nice. garbage bags <laughs> going up and down the streets picking up trash. She said they fill those garbage bags going up and down the streets. Wow. wow. And uh, we also uh, good community. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. in October for the month of October, Shoprite has um, has is, is awarding us uh, a portion of their um, bottle return money. So if you go to Shoprite in West Hartford and return your bottles, you can choose on the machine to donate your money to um, to the Park Road Parade, or you oh. can get your cash or whatever whatever you like to do. So. Uh, if you go and you hit that hit that button for the whole month of September, that money's coming uh, kept mm -hmm. coming back to our association for the parade. So that we we appreciate that from the Joseph family, mm -hmm. um, and we have a couple new businesses that that started up, uh, Zaytunes, and I hope I'm not taking away from yours. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening eagerly in case there's something I don't know. Yeah. No, no. I do know Zaytunes though. Zaytunes uh, is is opened and they seem to be doing well as uh, zero degree uh, Fahrenheit ice cream, which. You see, you see the crowds, which is great. Uh, we have a the Park Road um, Tailors that that's uh, opening up. That took the spot of um, the jewelry store that was that was oh, up the street. Okay. Park Road Jewelers. Oh, I gotta write that one down. Uh, mm -hmm. So, will so they also no. be doing shoe repair? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't been in yet. Man. <laughs> so just one. And that's not the old tailor who used to be in the center. Next to, in the center. Yeah. That's who it is. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you know, comes around. <laughs> yeah. So, so we yeah, again we have a lot, have a lot going on. Um, things are things are looking good. The Playhouse is finishing up a show uh, in the first week of October, which is Avenue Q, and then they're starting with the um, Diaries of Anne Frank for the end of the month. So, mm. uh, Tracy's very excited about these shows, and and Avenue Q has been a been a huge hit so far. So funny. We we saw it. It, it was hilarious. Going to see tomorrow. Funny. Oh, great. Excellent. I wanted to ask, who did the, um, I think it begins with a Z, who did the new patio? Uh, Zaytunes. Oh, it was, it was Zaytunes. Yes. Did it. Okay. Yep. All right. That's beautiful. Looks yeah, it looks really great. Nice. It yeah. looks great. Wow. It's been, it was really nice to see um, when I work late and I, and I go home at night, they're, they're still, they're still busy and the patio mm -hmm. has been full and inside has been full. So it's. So is so that, now we're back to that parking lot. <laughs> so is that parking lot for anyone or is it only I, if you're eating somewhere? I'm under the understanding that that's, it's Park and Oaks parking lot. Oh, okay. And I think that they are readjusting their entrance and exit from, uh, from Oakwood 
to to Park Road to use the parking lot from there because uh, it's been a little tight, um, you know, with the traffic light and uh, their delivery vehicles and so forth. So they're trying to to rework the parking lot to use uh, use the entrance on Park Road. So they're fixing it up. And, and some uh, a business owner owned that. It wasn't a house they took down, right? No, no, no. That was always just, there. It just was. It, it was just kind of buried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now thanks to the beautification, it's you know, that's great. <laughs> that's good. People notice that they should feel good about that. Great, uh, Elizabeth. Let's move over to Blueback. Sure. There's lots going on at Blueback this mm -hmm. fall. We're just getting over the pink party happening right. Thursday, um, mm -hmm. October 5th. Mm -hmm. Another great event with um, the Tribune Events Group and um, mm -hmm. Fox 61, of course, Susan G. Komen, uh, New England, all benefiting them. Mm -hmm. um, and also um, just getting over the openings of India, who opened recently, yes. and also Cooking the Bear, of course. Um, I know most people have tried the barbecue and love it. Mm -hmm. um, great two new spots at, uh, at Blueback Square. Also um, getting ready later this fall to welcome Skeleton Key, which is an escape room kind of concept, gaming concept for you and your friends to come. Schedule um, a date, and you're locked in the room and have to figure your way out. So it's oh. the new trend in um, entertainment and a night out. You know, and where is that going to be? That's going to be where Verizon Wireless was oh. off okay. of Raymond Road. Yeah. And next to it will be Deadbolt um, Restaurant. So you can get a bite to eat, a few drinks, and head on over to Skeleton Key. <laughs> okay. And then also we have Spot Coffee, which is coming soon, later this fall. That'll be on um, the corner of Memorial and Isham, where White House Black Market was. That will be obviously coffee, breakfast sandwiches, and also lunch wraps and sandwiches as well. And did, did I notice today too that they're they're leaving, carving out a little small yes, area? There is a small area for another tenant. We're still working on that space. I saw them put that door to be, in there. Um, to, yeah, to, to occupy that area. So. You're grinning while you know something? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to find out. I, I, I knew that it was being carved out. Yeah. And, and so. I, I, haven't, I haven't been able to get Elizabeth or anybody else to tell me. So yeah, that's, a, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's funny. Um, so we have all those new, you know, happenings happening at uh, Blue Back and Green Square. Tea House moved and Green Tea too. House moved yeah. right. They moved into um, the other location where Spin once was, next to Bar Louie. So they have a and great new spot. And who's going to Green Tea? That is T-Mobile. T-Mobile will be coming. Oh, okay, all right. To Blue right. Back, um, okay. probably early winter, um, around January, okay. possibly. Okay. Beautiful. Plans are underway for that. Um, and then, of course, event-wise, we have um, our Halloween stroll and trunk or treat event coming up <laughs> yeah. with the town of West Hartford, with West Hartford Center, coming up on Saturday, October 28th, from uh, 1030 to 1230. Um, activities will the be in the center. The usual mob scene, right? Mob <laughs> scene, yeah, <laughs> and that's Blueback Square. Yeah. At Blueback, we will have the band in the square, and also CBS Radio 96.5 TICFM will be on site with a car full of cut candy for the kids. Giveaways and all of the stores and restaurants will be giving out treats for all the And obviously, ones. correct me if I'm wrong, but last year, too, was the first year that you didn't parade, right? So people could just go on their own at yes. their own time. Yes, so and you it could start to, anywhere and you could right, probably hit it everything. It seemed to make it a little hours. bit better flow or something or a little last bit year easier. Was the first than year that we also had activities in the REI lot for the preschoolers. We had a lot of oh, local yeah, nursery right. schools and preschools yeah. set up did parade activities anyway. for the kids. Oh, in, in the I think beginning. I never get there that early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I love going and taking photos of all the kids yeah. in their in yeah. costumes. So cute. One of my favorite events to cover. Yeah, I, that's my favorite event, I think. Um, and then, of course, during holiday, we'll kick off the holiday season on uh, Friday, December 1st. Oh, don't, don't, rush things, don't rush things. <laughs> <out. laughs> yeah. I know we're already, already in holiday mode. And repeat that because that's a big deal. Repeat. Holiday it's stroll a is a Friday show. night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so wow. so that the, yeah, yeah, Thursday yeah. is November 30th, and then the following would be a little bit late you know, right. for a holiday stroll. And um, us marketing guys just have encouraged everyone to just use it as an excuse you know, to move it to a Friday night and see what happens because by 7.45, 8.15, families are going home on a Thursday night because they have to get the kids ready, you know, for school and now they won't have to go home. Mm -hmm. So we'll see we'll see what happens. Try something new. <laughs> <laughs> nothing venture, nothing gained, right? Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Yeah, you're right. So that, that that will be a big deal. Yes, definitely. Um, great. So what's happening in Bishop's Corner? Well let's see. Uh, the Knox uh, planters were just Amazing. a beautiful success. Mm -hmm. I just I gotta tell you, um, really just look fabulous uh, along uh, Main Street. So we're Did they very put moms in them for the fall? fall? Um, by the time that this show tapes, I'm sure that yeah. they'll be in. Yeah. Uh, but I, they've I know, well I taken they started in Elmwood. Well right. taken care out. of, yep. you know, I mean, just really beautiful. Um, so Ama that's great. Amazingly taken care yeah. of. I mean, they're yeah, they're really. 
I, I mean, you know. sometimes they look better than the planners that are shopping <laughs> for us. So, you know. oh, they look way better but, than the ones yeah. at my house. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so that's great. Pretty soon they're uh, going to have local residents wanting yeah. to yeah. Oh, I tried. I tried. Did you try? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, corporate came down from Boston. They're like, Karen, the plaza looks great. Like they were thinking that was like part of it. And yeah. I'm like, well, you know, I can't take all the credit. Oh, so, um, and then the Bishop's Corner Neighborhood Association, of course, supports uh, the... Um, Farmers Market, which is doing great and runs through October. Uh, we have a couple. Just remind everyone where that is. Oh, that's in uh, Crown Plaza um, parking lot, like right in the front, and uh, Starbucks right along in there. Um, at Bishop's Corner West, where uh, Blue Plate Kitchen is in Coma, uh, we also, of course, have offices uh, there, and we uh, just had Associated Ear, Nose, and Throat take 5,000 square feet on the second floor, and we welcomed them. They were temporarily on the lower level until their space got ready, so uh, the, wow. it's a very successful business, and it's bringing in a lot more people into the shopping plaza, and so uh, we welcome them. The occupants? I, yes. Can we say that? They're yes, most, yeah. mostly medical. Um, and then, uh, beginning uh, in January, the construction will start for um, regional cancer care. Is a new tenant that's coming on the third floor, taking about 8,000 square feet. Wow. So uh, we're very happy to have them. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity to mention that we have plenty of free parking also in the back, in the rear <laughs> of the plaza. Um, I know uh, some folks feel as though there's not uh, ample parking at our center, but there's a lot of parking in, in the back, and then that also can get you up the elevator and up to Home Goods, Marshalls, or Salons by JC. I think everyone thinks they have to go upstairs, and you don't. There's so the you can yeah. you can um, you can take that elevator up for yeah. um, for Bishop's Corner and Bishop's Corner West will bring you right up the patio mm -hmm. and to Maximum Beverage and Blue Plate Kitchen. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's t a lot of parking back mm -hmm. there. So I encourage people to park back there and then you'll also see um, you know, the paper store, you can pop in there mm -hmm. and you know, our other. And they have um, a lot of things other than paper. I think people hear the oh, name and they're, it, you know. They have a nice line really of, cute clothes. of ladies uh, clothing and accessories, a lot of jewelry. Uh, if you need a gift, it is the place to go. I, it's just, I ran in there yesterday, I was visiting a friend and just boop, 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 you know, and they'll wrap it right up for you and hmm. it's a, it's really great. So um, they so have- So why is it called the paper store? Can I say that? <laughs> because it started as a paper store. It started more of like a Hallmark type, yeah. oh, you know. And it is a Hallmark store Yeah, it is a Hallmark, yeah, right. But there's so much more. Oh, like there's a, a whole store, side that's it? all, you know, clothes and scarves. Right. And wow. I think they you have may have to stop in there. there. Yeah, and they also <laughs> offer discounts for teachers if you bring in your ID. So, wow. interesting little tidbit there. While you're um, talking about that area, so what, what else is back there? Yoga uh, place? The yoga shop, mattress firm. Mattress firm, that's what And we have um, one space available along in the back there. Okay. And, um, yeah, but uh, so the place is hopping. It's really, it's doing great. Excellent. Everybody's doing great. Um, One thing that might interest okay. people too in, in thinking about that space is the former Walmart neighborhood market. Right. So, and, and then the soon to be former REI space in Blueback Square. There's some zoning that the town council is considering. It's, it's gotten pushed right. ahead a couple of months due to some vacations, um, or, or not vacations, but travel that the new town manager needs to be. Um, needs to be taking, but there's something called an experiential zoning ordinance mm -hmm. that the town council is going to be considering, and if that passes, it'll allow for, within reason, some kind of places similar to, not, not saying this is what it is, but like Dave and Buster's, places where you can mm -hmm. have indoor activity and food in the same place, because right now the way the town zoning is written, you can have experiences or you can have food but you can't have both in the same place. And that's one of the reasons why Skeleton Key and Deadbolt are two separate places, even though they have common ownership, because it's, they're not permitted to be one entity. Right. And if this ordinance passes, it, it will permit that. Oh, right. Hmm. And of course, Bishop's Corner is also in a special development district. So we have other restrictions mm -hmm. as well. Oh boy. Okay, great. Uh, Ocho opened, right? Ocho in the opened. Bertucci's? Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, the grand opening, 
uh, um, a ribbon cutting. Early cutting. October, uh, right? Early third. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're doing the ribbon cutting for them. Yeah. So. That's right. So you must. Have, so you had said there was a Mexican family that owns it, so it's very well, authentic. Yes. And yeah. what it, what's interesting about it, you know, the setup is pretty much the same as Bertucci. So you know, you don't look in there. It looks entirely different. But, <laughs> it's, <laughs> but it looks like you're in Mexico when you walk in there. It's, it's very vibrant, and mm. they have beautiful fixtures. Um, and it's run by Mexicans as opposed to, you know, an American company going in and giving you Americanized Mexican mm. food. Mm. So the menu's a little different. Um, it does have tacos and burritos and everything else, but they do have some um, more traditional Mexican fare. Mm. The owners are wonderful. I have, I've met with mm. two of them, and they are on site, which is nice. Mm. And so they are greeting you and welcome you to their restaurant. It's a big space. It is a Do big they still space. have the downstairs too, or are they not the, using that? They're not using it right now, yeah. but I, I assume at some point they probably Which will. But. Right. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of downstairs, the yeah. Hartford Healthcare mm -hmm. um, is um, would like to expand into the lower level around back where um, oh. the uh, anytime, anytime fit, fitness. fitness is, mm -hmm. and they're going to move around some things, but it's it's in uh, for. Permits and approvals. Wow, yeah. so I, th I think that got approved. Oh, did I'm it get sure approved? Yeah. And anytime yeah. fitness yeah. is yeah. is still going to stay. Any oh, right. If they're still going to stay. They were just going to yeah. move. I guess their they're business their offices. offices. Right. Right. Just be close to the hospital. That could be handy. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Yeah. It's rehab. <laughs> yeah, it's rehab. <laughs> yeah, if they're, if they're smart, right? it would be very good. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what can you tell us or anyone else about um, the new uh, building that's being built? Uh, adjacent to the parking lot where Walgreens is. That's Julianne. Companion to oh, living. Yeah. Uh, anyone can you know speak to that, Barbara? Yes, well, so they're hoping to have occupancy by December. The building is wow. looking great. Oh, yeah. I mean, the siding is up. It looks like a house. It's yeah. amazing. So it fits in perfectly yeah. with the neighborhood. And um, it's a business that's already in town. They are on Farmington Avenue now. So they are just moving, building their own building and mm -hmm. moving into Bishop's Corner. Oh, we welcome so, them too. So, yeah. uh, Julianne Roth has been involved with the community for a long time, and they are a great addition well, to that I'll, area. I'll use that as a segue for you, Ronnie, because I went crazy one day. I just happened to be going from one end of the town to the other and all around, and I guess I hadn't really been paying attention over the summer, and I couldn't believe how all of a sudden Julianne's building was up. I drove by Corbin's Corner, and I was in shock. <laughs> you know, over, oh, that's you know, moving very quickly. I mean, it's quickly. unbelievable. Yeah. It, so it is suddenly. You know, it's yeah. like it's like it was taking forever. Right? It's, like, there and I couldn't it's, believe. Like, it's like, wow, well, what happened? Mm. Yeah, so th there are a number of like really large construction projects that, that will add to the grand list of the town, which yeah. is a really nice thing. You know, the hotel opened um, in August, so that's going to be completely on the tax rolls now, which is a really nice thing. Mm. Um, the um, 616 New Park, which is... I believe it's 54 yeah, housing units one, yeah. um, in the Elmwood Home Design District, right near the right Elmwood um, yeah. Fast Track, um, oh, Connecticut right. Fast Track yeah. station, is going up really quickly now. And every time I drive by there, I take another photo because mm. it, it keeps changing. And actually, <laughs> yeah. it's it's such a large building; it's hard it's, to, it's hard to take a photo of it. You can't and it's really cool. get the right perspective. It's not at all what I expected because it's like retail it's should be. It's right on the street. Yep. Right. I just yeah. thought it was going to be, you know. Set back no. with parking in front. Back. Yeah, so, yeah, it was really, it was great. So, yeah, so there's that one. There's the um, Seritage uh, um, construction project in Corbin's Corner, which will mm -hmm. be home to Shake Shack in the former Sears Automotive Building. And then there are a number of occupants, um, REI being one, but then also um, Saks Off Fifth and um, Bye Bye Baby. Uh, World Market. Uh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Um, drawing a blank right now. It starts with a C. It's like Crosstown, but that's not it. Um, it's, they're actually owned by the same company that owns Christmas Tree Shop and Bed Bath and Beyond, which I didn't realize until I started mm. researching it. Oh. Um, but that right. that's the world market. And then there is one other occupant that I believe has signed a lease that is just... Oh. Um, well, that w I don't know about that one. That oh, no, no, then, then, then I might be wrong. No, it's... <laughs> Saks Off Fifth, REI, Bye Bye Baby, World Market. World Market, and isn't there another one in that building? Somebody help me out. Hmm. No, I can't think. Not maybe sure. not. But, but, I but could maybe, be wrong. And then but maybe there is. You're right. But it's wow. it is amazing how that has really changed. I mean, that was a large building to begin with, mm. but how it has changed 
dramatically and it looked it's like updated and it's exciting to see that going yeah. on mm. and that's good for everybody there I mean it's mm. good for the rest of that shopping center which is full now too there are a couple of new buildings going in there a couple of new businesses mm -hmm. going in there um, that with there is going to be a tile mm. sh store right right currently it's spirit Halloween but that space where Pier one used to be will be the tile shop and it'll be exactly what it sounds like a tile shop and then um, to the left of that, where uh, uh, Eastern Mountain Sports mm -hmm. was, will be PM Pediatrics, mm -hmm. and it's like an urgent care that specializes mm -hmm. in, in pediatrics. Oh, yeah. that's uh -huh. great. Um, mm -hmm. And then not too long ago, the Simple Greek opened. That's a right. great, you know, fast, casual Greek mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, the Pet Value Store opened earlier this year. So there, there's definitely a yeah. new... And Dress Bond you know, is changing their name oh, and yeah. their look. And, uh, um, I'm not going to think of the name of that. Well, but neither am I. But it's named after one of their lines, right. and it's it's going to be a little more trendy. Um. Hmm. So, so they're all. I mean, that that shopping center is full, so it's yeah. it's really uh, going well. And same thing with West Palms Mall. I mean, mm. the mall is full and busy, yeah. and um, lots to say. It's magnificent. Lots I remember years ago when I was touring, dating myself, I was touring college campuses, you know, um, uh, uh, with my son and my wife, and one of the presidents of one of the schools said if well, just a helpful hint while you're touring if there's no construction going on at a campus you want to consider whether or not you really want to go there because <laughs> it might be sending a message <laughs> that they don't have a plan or a vision you know or a long-term you know future right. so we certainly have all that and some <laughs> you know in west hartford because it, as we all learn driving around you can't seem to you know go to a corner of town that doesn't have something happening right and, and there's a lot going on in the center too you Absolutely. know a couple of new restaurants Div division west has opened and Harvest will be opening in the fall. Um, I by don't the know. end of the year, um, they said. Oh, by the end yeah, of the year. I, I okay. And just is, is that Harvest the, the whole part of the whole Harvest group? No, they're actually, oh, it's called different. Harvest Wine Bar, and they have a couple of locations in Fairfield County. This is their first foray oh, into okay. central Connecticut. Um, but it's, it's family owned, too. It's three brothers. Uh, Fairfield County coming up here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then Donut Crazy, that's well. another one that um, is mm. hasn't opened yet. That's still, I have, I have a list, a running list, because just to try to keep mm. track of them. So there's so many. There are, yeah. there are. So that so it just shows, you know, the Chamber of Commerce always has new members coming into town. Mm -hmm. so. I thought you were going to say it's responsible <laughs> for all this. <laughs> well, I'd like to say that, <laughs> that we have been helpful <laughs> in making West Hartford, you know, the place that you want to open your business. Yeah, oh, I know the one I forgot too, Flora, which is um, Casey Ward from the Rooster Company in Newington, right. is transforming the American Legion, the second floor right. um, above oh, yeah. like the parking garage. Or and there's going to be a plant-based restaurant, which yes. will be very unusual for West Hartford. They will serve meat. Okay, Tom. They but, will, they, but it will mm, be, but it, but it'll be, you know, it'll be sustainable. <laughs> right. You know, right. But they do talk about but it being plant-based. And yeah. I mean, that kind of leads us to Artisan, right. which is in the Del Mar yeah. Hotel. So the Del Mar uh, yeah. had their grand opening in September. Right. And uh, the restaurant is now open for breakfast, lunch, lunch and, and dinner. dinner. And all your special occasions. Once um, again, we're out of time. Uh, uh, it happens to us every every month. Uh, I just, if I have time to throw a plug in, Lux Bond and Green wanted me to mention that the Vineyard Vines Weha merchandise will be on sale at their store this holiday season. Um, so if you don't want to buy it online, you want to touch and feel, uh, you can go into Lux Bond. Uh, they have a great display uh, there. And in the meantime, I guess we'll be back um, talking about the holidays, believe it or not, which seems absolutely crazy, <laughs> you know, impossible. But thanks for tuning in, and we'll, uh, we'll see you in 30 days to talk about uh, the holidays in West Hartford. Maybe we should all be wearing a Weha.